Meningococcal disease is caused by a bacterium that many healthy people carry in their throats without even knowing it. In fact, 10% of people are quietly colonised by this germ. And the problem is that they can then pass it on to the vulnerable, like babies and those with immune deficiencies. Within just a few days, and sometimes merely hours, the meningococcal germ can colonise the throat and then invade the bloodstream, causing a life-threatening meningitis or a devastating form of blood poisoning with shock, gangrene and often death. My daughter um, contracted meningococcal 15 years ago. Uh, she was 14 months old and um, she just got sick overnight um, just with a high fever and a temperature and I took her up to the doctors and he knew something was wrong, something major, straight away. Um, we got to hospital, um, they took hours to stabilise her there. She was months in hospital. Danielle was just so fortunate to survive. She had expert and early treatment, but her form of meningococcal disease was fast and fulminant, progressing to shock and gangrene in all her limbs. Because of intensive care, she did survive, but with severe scarring and at the expense of an arm, many fingers, and the chance to grow to a normal height. With, with Dylan, um, on, on the night where that happened, to, to give you some idea of, of how quick. It was probably the first four hours we were at the uh, first hospital and they sent us home. They couldn't pick up any uh, significant signs and they asked us to monitor him at home uh, for deterioration or a rash and bring him back. Um, we didn't, weren't aware of the seriousness of those signs and we ended up seeing a little pinprick on the side of his neck um, as soon as I picked him out of bed, he had the high-pitched cry, which sounded like he was uh, quite in severe pain. Um, we immediately took him to a GP. The GP recognised him straight away as septic, and by the time we got to the second hospital, which was 10 minutes away, uh, they were ready for him. Um, he was then uh, moved to a much larger hospital, um, and in that small time, he already had a, a cardiac arrest. They had to try and revive him. Um, this is probably 12 hours after his fever. And three hours later, he um, passed away in emergency at the children's hospital. Since Dylan's death, Ian and his wife Lena have had two more healthy children. They are active members of the Violet Foundation and promote awareness of meningococcal disease and immunisation. Vaccination has controlled the second most common meningococcal germ called Group C. But the race is on to produce a vaccine for the biggest killer, Group B. Tiny babies are the ones most at risk.